Okay, good evening everyone. We are again on live stream and uh, this is the usual schedule 6.30 p.m. So uh, we usually conduct this live stream every Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays at 6.30 in the evening. Uh, earlier we had a stream which was intended for members of the IECEP, the Institute of Electronics and Communication Engineers of uh, the Cavite chapter and the topic was solar rooftops the key to industrialization so uh, okay so now we'll uh, um, continue with our uh, presentation uh, regarding hygienic building designs uh, as you can see this uh, uh, front slide uh, these hygienic building uh, products are uh, manufactured by Polisto Belgium and of course uh, we have now included the uh, blue chair of uh, uh, Denmark okay blue chair of Denmark and uh, this uh, symbol or uh, logo HBSI is hygienic building supplies incorporated so it is the distributor in charge for the Philippines as well as in, in Southeast Asia okay so uh, what is the origin of uh, Polisto? Uh, in 1991, the brothers Alex and Ivan Morils created Isoconstruct. So this is the logo. At the time, installation of sandwich panels for food industry. You know, converted from 2010, only service and installation company for Polisto and B Hygienic products. 1996 invention of the Polisto composite curb out of uh, experience in the food construction first project was installed in a greenfield industry bakery project la lorraine okay so here you would see the the curve the hygienic curve and this one uh, so uh, uh, it is installed between the connection of the floor and the wall okay we usually provide here the the baseboard and sometimes uh, we use wood sometimes we will we use uh, uh, other materials like uh, um, this uh, marble marble slab cut and uh, grinded but uh, the problem is uh, some dirt would go in between the the crevices between the between the the baseboard and the floor or between the baseboard and the wall and later on you will have uh, this uh, dirt, dirty living beings no? uh, okay so uh, in 1996 police to build a first production unit in Temse, Belgium so this is the picture and uh, uh, succeedingly this was uh, uh, the uh, progress of the construction and in 2010 Realization of a new police to larger production unit and offices in Lokeren, Belgium, close to the European junction of highways E17, E40, and to the biggest European sports, uh, you know, uh, ports, you know, Antwerp and Rotterdam. Police to production ideal export location close to three of the biggest ports of Europe. Uh, so. Uh, uh, mentioned about uh, Antwerp and uh, the other one um, Rotterdam okay and of course uh, what else uh, Luxembourg maybe okay because Brussels is uh, inland no okay okay and of course uh, huh? Polisto curves have been installed in more than 86 countries worldwide since then. No? Okay. And uh, there was this uh, announcement, public announcement of uh, Listeria outbreak uh, by Ma the Maple Leaf President, uh, that's in Canada, uh, President Michael McCain. Okay. And uh, it happened in uh, August 23, 2008. Listeria and other bacteria are common and possibly a very deadly problem in a bad design, constructed, and uh, maintained food.
processing factory. No? 57 sick, including 24 dead in 2008, Maple Leaf Listeria outbreak in Canada. And more than 1,000 affected, including 186 deaths in South African uh, Enterprise Food Listeria outbreak with Salami 2018. Lactalis to withdraw 12 million boxes or 12 meter boxes of baby milk, 12 million, in, in Salmonella scandal in 2018. And three deaths, five illnesses, Listeria outbreak linked to single serving Bluebell ice cream. And Listeria tainted roly poles, sandwich meat linked to a dozen deaths. And Fopen Salmonella smoked salmon seconds 1,000 and kills 3. Though Listeria outbreak over at 32, that's 4 deaths possible. So these are the outbreaks caused by Listeria and uh, bacteria, other bacteria. And here is uh, under the microscope, this is how the Listeria uh, um, looks like. No. So what is Listeria? Why is Listeria? dangerous. Uh, Listeria monos monocytogens is Listeria is a foodborne disease causing bacteria. The disease is called Listeriu Listeriosis. It kills one in five victims. The microbes survive in the freezer. Once entered, Listeria can live for years in a food processing factory sometimes contaminating food products can be found in a variety of foods such as uncooked and unprocessed or processed meats and vegetables in dairy products cooked or processed foods smoked seafood okay so uh, other deadly bacteria such as salmonella and e coli looks like this so remember uh, uh, in uh, Burakai, uh, it was starting to have this E. coli already. So you know, so these are the uh, pictures or how this uh, Salmonella and E. coli look like under the microscope. Main sources of Listeria, according to a study with 10,000 environmental swab samples in high-risk food processing areas for li Listeria. Number one, cleaning equipment. So usually the cleaning equipment have a uh, possibility that uh, uh, it, it would uh, the least area would be there, no? And in drains, 23%. So drains would have it also. Okay. So uh, in curves, so in curves they can also be there. Walls and floors, walls and floors, curves, walls and floors, 17%. So. Like uh, this one where uh, they remove the, uh, the uh, curve and you would see there's uh, uh, this uh, filt inside it. And in cracks, in, uh, in cracks like this one, no? you would see uh, uh, there's an open portion of the, of the wool. So they would, the, the, the list area would be present there. Okay, then curves, wall and floors, uh, again, uh, when you see these cracks and, and the walls and uh, this uh, kind of uh, finish, which has been already eroded, maybe by acids and some other uh, liquids there in the factory. So, uh, most uh, pa possibly your Listeria will be uh, hiding in this, no? It will be present in this, okay? So, food production surfaces also. Uh, when you produce these uh, meat uh, products, then in the surface, the listeria might be there. No? And uh, here also, if you have uh, containers and so on, possibility that listeria would be there. So why is the hygienic design of curves important in the food industry to prevent bacterial Contamination with Listeria, Salmonella, or other bacterial outbreaks. Okay, uh, flexible sealants can deteriorate after intensive daily high-pressure cleaning. Okay, curves get cracked by impacts of trolleys, uh, pallet trucks, forklifts, 
uh, dirt, cleaning water, humidity, and, and scraps can build up in the voids behind the crack sealants or curves creating the ideal environment for listeria, salmonella, E. coli, and other bacteria. So, uh, if your walls and curves and floors have already these cracks, then chances are this uh, bacteria will uh, will be there, no? Like these ones, no? So in here you would see there uh, there's a blown uh, blown up figure here, and here there is a crack. So uh, chances are bacteria will uh, be in there. Also in here, there's a crack in here, and this portion with a small torn portion of the finish, okay. And here inside between the the curve and the wall would be the bacteria, okay. Okay, with intensive and hard pressure cleaning, the built up dirt and contamination with listeria will be lifted and sprayed all over. So when you pressure wash it, the, the bacteria will just be uh, scattered. So that's the big problem, no? When you just, uh, when you just allow it, when you allow the, the holes, the cracks, the, fissure, uh, the, the gaps, fissures, etc., then you are allowing the bacteria to stay there and multiply. This will contaminate the panels, curves, and food production machinery. When, when you wash it, pressure wash it, uh, the, the, the bacteria will fly. Okay, So here is a picture of uh, a close cross-section of the installation where you would have the insulation panel, the metal stop bead, the concrete curve, resin render, and the resin Loring. Steel coated sandwich panels are still the most commonly used way to construct food safe rooms in Europe. Uh, it's fast and easy installation, good insulating qualities, nowadays better fire rating. So uh, that's the usual that we use where you have the steel coated sandwich panels. Steel coated sandwich panels are weak and easily damaged upon uh, impact by pallet, pallet transporters, forklifts, movement of machines, very thin steel layer about 0.8 millimeter thick, and very thin paint layer, paint layer 55 to 220 micron thick. So you would see here uh, that, that the thin layer would soon deteriorate, the steel layer. Oh because it is very thin. Quick corrosion because of the scratches, aggressive cleaning products, acids, blood, salt, chlorides, starch, among others, will damage this finish of the wall. Curves, walls, and ceilings in a room where food is processed must be smooth, non-absorbent, non-porous, Corrosion resistant, non toxic, easy to clean and maintain, recommended shock resistant. Okay, so we have here the EHEADS guidelines of uh, Europe. No? Hy hygienic design principles for food factories. Okay. European hygienic design principles for food factories. So, uh, you have this uh, hazard analysis critical control point. It's ACCP and BRC global standards and the U.S. Uh, Drug Administration. Okay. And uh, so this is a, a picture of uh, of these uh, EHEADS guidelines. First edition is uh, in 20 September of 2014. What to look out? Four with hygienic cove skirtings. Okay, so you have the gaps like this. Then it's time to clean or, or uh, maintain. Resin cove skirting is very rigid, while sandwich panels tend to expand due to temperature changes, impact, and movement. This causes ruptures and tears in the skirting. If water infiltrates the cove skirting, 
it can end up under the finishing floor uh, in the construction floor if then evaporates uh, creating bubbles of high pressure humid air which causes the floor to break okay, so here uh, you could see it in these uh, pictures okay not a good hygienic cove skirting hollow flexible pvc cove skirting as you could see here it uses a pvc one which already has deteriorated or this one is a hollow then uh, eventually it will crack hollow spaces behind surface where bacteria can easily breed and dirt and hum humidity piles up weak and chemically unstable after a short time in te it tends to become hard and break upon slightest impact flexible rubber joints are not watertight or chemical resistant a good hygienic cove curtain solution prefab full score uh, PVC or composite hygienic skirting so uh, full core composite hard PVC water resistant and chemical resistant double water barrier by the first barrier and the second component of flexible sealant and second barrier of flexible water resistant adhesive flexible adhesive which allows the wool and the floor to expand due to temperature changes or impacts surface finish in a smooth non-porous easy to clean gel coat pvc or stainless steel easy to replace models polisto pv 8 f pb 15f and op 10f fcf so here is a uh, a cross-sectional uh, drawing of uh, the uh, curve and uh, in the wall the drywall and it is a, a final finish uh, prod product or finish uh, picture picture of finish work done showing the curve okay what to look out for with hygienic curves okay uh, like here you would see very clean uh, in here it's it's filthy as you would see there are cracks where the the bacteria or the uh, li listeria uh, would be found uh, like this one there's a crack so right. bad hygienic curve casted or prefab concrete curves covered with resin okay, so later on it will be it will de deteriorate like this one okay a minimum of joints very long installation time 28 days during time you use concrete very difficult to apply in in a functioning production area uh, if damaged by heavy impact water can infiltrate through hair cracks as concrete is porous and absorbs water it then evaporates creating bubbles of high pressure humid air which causes the floor or curb covering to break if damaged it should be repaired promptly to maintain hygienic finish cast on site curves are difficult to remove if required subsequently no second water barrier if the joint between the curb and the panel breaks water can easily infiltrate the space behind the curb into the construction floor Bonding between the concrete and the floor material will break due to exposure to humidity and acids in the air. So uh, here is again a cross section where you have the insulation panel here, then you have the metal stop bead here, and you have the concrete curve, the resin render, and the resin flooring. Okay. a while okay casted or prefab concrete curves covered with resin concrete is aggressive and provokes corrosion uh, physical impacts cause cracks crevices which provide harborage to harmful bacteria so as you could see this is a concrete curve and in between the curve and the wall you would 
already see this uh, corrosion and uh, dirt. Okay. Uh, prefabricated stainless steel curve filled with concrete on site. Complex long installation process. Okay. You need welding, filling concrete, finishing of joints, concrete curing. Voids behind stainless steel surfaces. Corrosion is a risk in areas with lots of impact. Heavy cleaning products containing chloride, acid, salty condition. A cold bridge can be created when a sandwich panel is installed on a pedestal provoking moisture on one side of the wall. If the filling holes are not uh, welded properly, water and dirt can enter the curve and create a risk for contamination. So that's the problem here. Well, when you use this uh, stainless stainless curve, okay, uh, the voids here eventually will uh, allow the entry of moisture. Prefabricated stainless steel curve filled with concrete on site. No second water barrier. If the joint between curve and panel breaks, water can easily infiltrate the space behind the curve. Mentioned that already into the construction floor. Concrete is very aggressive and provokes corrosion. Difficult to repair and maintain. Unsight curves are difficult to remove if conditions require. Prefabricated stainless steel curve filled with concrete unsight. Water infiltration behind the stainless steel uh, surface creates the perfect environment for microorganism and bacteria to survive and grow so like in this situation after removing the stainless cover you would see uh, filth inside it uh, so with this and so with this stainless steel wall rails and tubular barriers lots of space is lost between stainless steel tube or rail and wall variable distance between wall and tube and uh, a forklift will easily pull out of the tubes and floors are quickly damaged there's still a wall floor skirting needed very labor intensive to, man to manually clean and a lot more cleaning products and labor to be used automatic cleaning behind the tubes isn't possible walls are not adequately protected as teeth of forklifts can still go under or above the tubes and rails. An acceptable hygienic curve solution is therefore prefabricated stainless steel concrete and polymer composite curves. Oh. Prefabricated polymer composite and concrete curves finished with banded stainless steel surface can be quickly easily installed. Preferably systems are more easily removed if required subsequently. Stainless steel shelf can be completely filled to uh, hollow spaces behind the surface. Second water barrier behind the curve, then difficult to maintain. Although corrosion resistant, corrosion is still a risk in areas with lots of impact. Heavy cleaning with chloride, salty conditions, blood starts and other acids so here is the cross-section of that using again uh, stainless steel a good hygienic curve solution is polisto prefabricated polymer composite curve so this is now the most recommended solution okay prefabricated polymer composite curves are up to three times quicker to install done casted concrete curves with coated epoxy two times stronger than concrete and chemical resistant easy to install in in renovations of ongoing food production areas if damaged by heavy product water infiltration is not possible as the polymer composite is water resistant or water water repellent Prefabricated systems are more easy to remove. First water barrier made of uh, flexible sealant or a hard 
two component PUK hygiene seal a joint between floor and curve and a second water barrier created by a line of flexible water resistant MS polymer hard fix glue so uh, here is uh, the cross section of this uh, of this uh, polymer which is now the polysto to refabricated polymer composite curve so this is now the recommended uh, polysto prefabricated polymer composite curves hygienic curves in an extension of a of a greenfield project can be with a recess in front to apply seamlessly the curve skirting with the resin of the finishing floor into the curve polysto curves can also be provided with a curve skirting included to be installed on top of the finishing floor damaged composite curves can easily be repaired with a repair kit so this is a man shown repairing or installing the polysto prefabricated polymer composite curves a first water barrier is created by a food safe sealant or a hygiesil joint. A second water barrier is created by a continuous line of water resistant hybrid polymer, a polysto hard fix glue, to prevent leakage if first water barrier should be damaged. So you would see here this sealant that is being used, hygiesil, this red one not allowing water to uh, to enter hygienic to component POK polymer sealant creates a seamless transition between two wall panels curves and floor solution for quick deterioration silicon joints process is called chemical welding extremely strong water and chemical resistant bond uh, between the two parts of a curve panel ceiling and floor resistant against uh, against a uh, high pressure cleaning chemical properties are naturally resistant to fungus application minimum of 15 degrees centigrade not in rooms with high temperature differences example uh, shock, shock collars and uh, freezers in slaughterhouses if, we, if a crack appears it can easily be repaired you can uh, uh, see it in in YouTube by this huh? see if we can uh, there huh? anyway so Let us watch the the video. Anyway, so uh, let's continue on. Uh, A good hygienic curve solution is uh, using this polysto prefabricated polymer composite curves. Uh, com comparison compressive and splitting strength between concrete and polysto com composite. So here are the comparisons. Comparison of the average compressive strength. Uh, concrete uh, classes conform and tensile splitting strength of concrete and the material so you would see that uh, uh, it's much higher okay so polysto prefab hygienic curves are made of clean rock a mix of polyst polyester resins additives and quartz so it's time saving uh, impact resistant saves money it's uh, food safe easy to clean uh, waterproof fire retardant repairable chemical resistant 
prefab system, so easy to install. Uh, frost resistant, all possible RAL colors, finish, and place saving. Okay. Here are the uh, comparisons. Huh? Here is the natural, this is the na sandy coat, and the stainless steel. Polish to prefabricated polymer composite curves impact range. Uh, you would see that uh, here it's a PBF 8F 2000 by 80 by 30. Here is uh, 2000 by 150 by 30. And here is uh, 1000 by 53 by 200. Okay, so that means it can withstand uh, all of this. And so with this uh, impact range, again uh, showing them. Okay, impact solutions for extreme impacts of Eurobin trolleys. Huh? Shock resistant PE500 or P300 uh, fully ethylene LEDs is uh, installed on the frontal part of hygienic curve where point impacts of Euro Eurobin trolleys are expected. So, uh, you would see that uh, whatever is the height of the trolley, then you would install this uh, provision so as not to uh, allow the collision between the trolley and the wall. And uh, here is a police 2 PE wall protection ledges, uh, this blue and red being uh, mounted. And uh, here is another installation where you have a sliding uh, sliding door of a uh, uh, cold room, and uh, you would see how the the curves are modified to allow for this uh, for this door that is sliding. So there are also these bollards provided to protect it. And here is an application. Again, you can uh, watch it by uh, YouTube here. And uh, project references of the Polisto. Here, Marine Harvest Extension of Morpol Ostka in Poland. So, Polisto OP30RV IP40RB Natural White. So, this is the result of that project in Poland. And uh, Vlevico Colroyd Group, Polisto ICS 50RV, and so on. Polisto stainless steel posts and barriers with installation more than 1 million euro project. And here, KG Foods in Lithuania, IP40F, uh, natural uh, exterior impact hygiene seal. So that's how it was done. And here, McDonald's France, PV15F with high seal. Okay, so very clean. Industrial Bakery, Van de Mortele, IP40RBF, Sunny Code, high seal, natural white. So, Van der Mortel. And uh, poultry processing solutions in the hatcheries, AgroSoper, IP40F, Sunny, sunny Code, PBF, Sunny Code. So here it is, very clean. A chocolate pricing, Ferrero, OP30F, natural white. So here, very, very clean installation. Then hatcheries, AV again, Polisto, OP30F, RB, Sunny Coat, PV15, PV8F, AV again. So again, you would see very clean installation, clean and tidy. Then supermarkets, Kof by Kofflan, IP50R, IP40F, IP40R, Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Slovakia, and Romania. That's the Kofflan company there, supermarket. Other very large projects with food, food multinationals include Coca-Cola in Holland and Thailand, and Unilever USA, 
and uh, PepsiCo in Egypt and South Africa and Parmalat in Canada using uh, Sunnycoat and Hygesil and Kellogg in Poland and Belgium so there you are you uh, Coca-Cola, uh, Unilever, PepsiCo, Permalat, and Kellogg. Then Inalka in Russia, and Aware Frontera in Holland, uh, Alpro in Belgium, and Danone in uh, Germany, Nestle of Germany also. Of course, there's Nestle in the Philippines. Nordfrost of Germany, okay, and then of course, uh, just recently, uh, Polisto was installed in uh, Selecta ice cream, Unilever, Unilever Selecta ice cream in 20, uh, let me check, 2018, and also in Unilever mayonnaise plant in General Trias Cavite. Uh, in 2019 early 2019 and today uh, is being studied by pure foods san miguel pure foods in cavite and uh, just recently phil miko of tarlac uh, has already made a contract with hygienic, hygienic building supply for the installation of uh, of this system including the blucher uh, blucher drain products. What is blucher? Blucher is a is a drain product like this one. You would see stainless products like this one, very clean and very tidy. It's made in uh, Denmark, and it's one. This is the best in its line of this kind of products. You would see this line of drains, drain products. And here is another one, complete stainless steel drainage system. SS304 and SS316 stainless. And just recently after the pandemic, uh, another company that is in the group with uh, Polisto uh, and, uh, and Blucher and of course under the uh, hygienic building supplies, of the Philippines incorporated is the Poraco COVID-19 disinfection units. It would look like this and uh, like this or like this. No? So very tidy, can be installed in uh, at the entrance of uh, facilities like airports, uh, transportation uh, or bus transportation centers or buildings or any facilities that even malls. Uh, it is a fast way of providing for a fast uh, uh, disinfecting uh, process for customers. The Puraco is uh, has developed the, uh, this, this disinfection unit control of the incoming flow of employees, visitors, and customers. The units are developed to be used at control gates of large factories, offices, hospitals, retail chain commercial centers and even public transport like the LRTs like bus transport even uh, airports or seaports the unit consists of metal frame with an interior of Puraco hygiene wall sandwich panels finished with a scratch resistant and chemical resistant biosafe FRP surface the plexiglass in the counter is the best quality and scratch free. The Puraco disinfection unit consists of two counters uh, within total of four entrances. Every counter can be closed at any time separately from the other counter. When not used, the unit can be closed completely by two electrical shutters. Included are four alcohol dispensers and four mechanical store gates. Optional, we can uh, provide infrared body temperature cameras. The person in the counter works separately from all passers-by who enter and leave the unit. Visitors are completely separated from each other during the passage to into the disinfection unit. The disinfection units can be adapted to the needs and demands 
of the local situation. On the same base, Puraco can provide modular laboratories and multi-purpose rooms for testing. Okay, so uh, that's the end of our presentation. I hope uh, we've been able to uh, um, give you a good uh, idea on how you could possibly make your uh, installations, construction, if you are into food manufacturing, drug manufacturing, food processing, and e other similar installation so as not to allow uh, bacteria to ruin your business. Now we go to the chat box. Let's see. Okay, so we have uh, J. Ruiz uh, Hora. Good evening, sir. Good evening, J. Ruiz. Chris Tureda, good evening, sir. Thank you again for your lecture. Uh, you're welcome. John Douglas is also here. God, good evening, po, sir. Will. So we only have a few, uh, just like, <laughs> yes, usual. This hygienic building designs seems to be not a popular subject to most Filipinos. But today with the pandemic, uh, with the pandemic, uh, we should not allow uh, the proliferation of uh, bacteria. If you are in the, into the food manufacturing, like in San Miguel, in the brewery, in Pure Foods, in uh, what else? You have Bounty Chicken, you have, uh, of course, uh, you have uh, uh, Jollibee, McDonald's, KFC, uh, and all other of this. Uh, you have uh, the, uh, what else, uh, like, uh, the commissary of uh, of Macdo is, I think, is uh, one in located in, in in Martina, and the commissary of let's say Mang Inasal, the commissary of all other food manufacturing. They have to consider providing for this even 7-Eleven because their food are are ready to cook, so they have a commissary. So again, they too should have this system, no? And also, uh, what else? Not only them, but also even even SM because they also have some some food areas there, huh? so they can also adopt this hygienic building designs. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, John Luis Dugos noted for sir for safety and protection. Yes, thank you very much, John. Uh, anyway, so uh, this uh, short topic. I have. Your strolling happened to be part of this HBSI as one of the founding, uh, one of the directors. Hygienic Building Supplies Incorporated is a Philippine uh, registered corporation that is the sole uh, distributor of this Polisto, Blue Share, Poraco, and other products, hygienic products from Europe. And uh, there's also a product from Malaysia, but mostly from Europe. Okay, so uh, if you happen to know some, if you happen to uh, be involved in such a design, you can recommend this uh, hygienic building uh, products and uh, polisto um, hygienic uh, uh, curves. And of course, the, the walls, and uh, there, there is also for the ceiling, and for the floor okay any more uh, is, is there any more question uh, gentlemen and uh, lady ladies okay uh, let me uh -huh. maybe I'll, I'll wait for one minute or two minutes for any question that you may you may like to ask uh, you know I've been uh, I'm, I've been involved in the past uh, having worked with uh, uh, San Miguel Brewery San Miguel Corporation in my younger years from 1979 to 1981 and uh, I have worked as a consultant designer also for Coca-Cola projects before and for uh, also for uh, uh, ice cream, select ice cream, and uh, uh, some other uh, food manufacturing. Even Fure Foods before I was involved, 
and Magnolia before. We've been involved also. And uh, Swift also before. So uh, that's the, the reason why I, uh, I'm also very particular when it's come to safety and, uh, and cleanliness in the manufacturing, food manufacturing sector. Again, if, if you know, you don't have any more uh, questions, gentlemen, we will be having our closing prayers. I was not able to include the closing prayer in this, uh, I mean uh, an opening pl prayer. Okay, the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Uh, we praise and thank you, Lord, for allowing us again to conduct this uh, webinar on YouTube. And uh, we also, we praise and thank you for the earlier seminar we conducted uh, at uh, 3.40 in the, in the afternoon earlier for those members of uh, the IECEP uh, of Cavite through uh, engineer Jomer Katipon. We also praise and thank you, Lord, for keeping us away from the sickness, from the COVID. We praise and thank you, Lord, for uh, keeping us away from accidents. And we praise and thank you, Lord, for continuously uh, guiding us, blessing us, not only us, but also our family and loved ones, and also providing for our livelihood, our means of livelihood, our work, of course, our businesses, and anything that gives us a financial uh, strength and capability, Lord God. So we ask that you will continue to guide and bless us. Uh, and, and hopefully we will, you will guide us to uh, win over this COVID. All of this we ask in, your, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. John Louis Douglas noted, Sir, okay. Thank you, sir, WGG for seminar. You're welcome, John. Okay, uh, gentlemen and uh, ladies, everyone, thank you again. And uh, good evening. Stay healthy. Stay fit. God bless everyone.